Hello everybody. Hi Minis. How are you? Good. I'm so happy to hear that. Are you ready to craft? Yes, me too. Okay, so today we're not painting, but we get to glue and we get to cut. So if you can get some scissors and some glue, that would be great. Um, I think that's all you're going to need from home. So go ahead and grab yourself a pair of scissors and whichever kind of glue you think you want to use. You can use the glue stick or you can use this liquid glue, okay? Whichever one you have, whichever one you want to use, go ahead and grab that. And then if you want to just cover your table, just in case, okay? We are making, can you tell what we're making? Yes, we're going to make a rainbow fish crab. I love rainbow fish. I love that book. It's an amazing book. If you want to come check it out and read it, go ahead. It's an amazing book. Okay, so we're making a crab. All right. So in your kit, of course, you're going to have the directions always. You're going to have the directions, okay? And you'll have this big piece of blue paper, and you're going to have a, let me see if I can pick it up. Oh, goodness. There we go. A littler piece of light blue paper, a little piece of yellow paper. You'll have a blue, a real, a, well, whatever color you want to call this. I'm going to call it light blue, okay? You, It's got a special name, but we're going to call it light blue, okay? Aqua. Anyway, cupcake liner and... You're gonna have, oh, it's stuck in there. You're gonna have a googly eye. It's not gonna be glued or stuck in there, okay? I can get it out once I need it, all right? You're gonna have a googly eye. And you are going to have so much stuff in your kit, okay? You're gonna have all these little sparkly gems because our rainbow fish is sparkly, right? Yeah, we wanna make our, our, our rainbow fish sparkly. If you've ever read the book, maybe if you need to read the book to find out why we're gonna make our rainbow fish sparkly, you could. And then we'll have these in case you need them, okay? All right, let's get started. We're going to start with this. This is going to be our ocean. All right, so you can put it this way. You can make your ocean, your fish swim in with the water like this or like this. Totally up to you. You decide. I'm going to make mine go this way. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and take our cupcake liner we want to kind of flatten it out. So you're going to take it and you're just going to kind of flatten it, okay? Oh, oh, goodness. So I took it, I put it on my paper, and I flattened it. And then you want to glue it on there, okay? So whichever glue you're choosing to use, I'm going to use the glue stick. You just want to glue it on it wherever you want your fish to be swimming at, okay? So you decide, where's my fish going to swim on this paper? Where will rainbow fish swim? I wonder. I'm going to have rainbow fish swim pretty much right in the middle of mine, but you can choose whatever you want. So this is rainbow fish's body. And now we want to add fins and a little, and a fishtail and an eye and a mouth. And of course, the sparkly gems, because that's who rainbow fish has the sparkles. All right. What you're going to do then to get that stuff well, to get the fins, is we're going to use this paper. You're going to use this paper, and you're going to cut these pieces out, okay? This is the, the um, top fin. Oh, sorry, I'm covering my face. This is the top. These are the bottom. You can use all three. You can use just one. It's up to you. And this is the tail. We're going to cut those out, and we're going to trace them onto this blue paper. And then we're going to cut them out of the blue paper. It's a lot of cutting, but I know you can do it. And if it's a little tricky for you, you have your big person help you. Okay. And once you have those cut out, then we're going to take that little tiny heart shape here. That's going to be your fish's mouth. You want to trace that cut or you want to cut that out and then trace it onto the yellow paper and cut it out of the yellow paper. The eye is totally up to you. You can use this eye that's on this paper and cut it out, or you can use the googly eye, okay? That's gonna be up to you. All right, so I have got all my pieces cut out on this tray already. Then we can go ahead and glue our pieces where they should be. So I have the tail. You decide which way is, which way is your fish gonna swim. Is it gonna go that way? Is it going to go this way? You decide. Wherever you put the tail, the mouth is going to go on the other side. All right. 
I put it, all right, so this is what I did. I lifted this up just a little bit on the end and I stuck my tail right underneath so that it's underneath the cupcake, um, the cupcake folder. Um, you can put it under or if you would rather, you could put it on top. I'm gonna put mine under. You can put yours however you want, okay? Then we're gonna take this top piece and we're gonna glue that on. All right, so I'm gonna put, we're gonna glue that on the top because this is the top thing, okay? I did the same thing. I picked up this piece here and I stuck it on in there. So now I have the top piece. Now I'm gonna move on to those bottom ones and I cut all three out. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue all three. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, all right? So I have my big piece and my medium sized piece. Wait, no, hold on. Oh, I grabbed the wrong, okay. I can't even tell which one is medium and which one is small, if I'm being honest. I think, I think I did take the small piece. Okay, hold on, hold on. My medium and my small. And I'm just gonna kind of put them right around here, like so. Sorry guys, it took me a while to figure that out. Whew. Okay, now he's got the bottom fins on. Top fin, top bottom fin, tail. He needs a mouth. I'm gonna put his mouth on. All right, I got this little tiny, tiny, tiny heart mouth. You can't even, you can hardly even see it in my hand. I'm going to put that, I'm actually gonna put that, I think, on top. I feel like that we're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna see is, you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna put it on top. I don't know, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna cut a little piece off here to make it so it's not so pointy. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put his mouth on top, I think. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. No. Mr. Rainbow Fish, or Miss, I, I think he's a Mr. Actually, you should read the book again, I'm not sure. Either way, he's got a mouth. Now I wanna put an eye on there, just one eye, because this is like a side view. People, yeah, it's a little different. Anyway, it's a side view, so we're gonna put that one eye. I have the one googly eye that I would like to use. And if you wanna draw an eye, you can actually draw an eye. I didn't bring any markers out here with me. But you know what, if you wanna grab a marker and draw an eye, and this, this, what's cool about this purple glue is it dries clear. So you see the purple when I glued it on, but it'll dry and we won't see the purple. Kind of looks like he has a black eye right now, but when it dries, we, it won't look like that. All right. So the last thing to do, everybody, decorate. Now we get to take all these colorful sequins that we have and decide where do we want to put them on our rainbow fish. I'm just gonna kind of put some glue dots all around rainbow fish. And then I'm gonna just put the sequins on there. All right, just sequins and gems. There's a few gems too, okay? So, so there we go. And then your rainbow fish will be all sparkly and beautiful. You know what? Rainbow fish is beautiful anyway, right? Doesn't have to have the gems to be beautiful. All right. There we go. And you can add as many gems as you want or as little amount of gems as you want. That's gonna be up to you too. But there you go, you're just gonna add the gems. Sparkle rainbow fish up. Look at that, you can see the sparkles. I think that's so neat. Then you wanna write your name on here somewhere and the date so we know when you made this. You can give it to somebody or you can keep it and hang it up for everybody to see. That's it. When you're done with all of this, make sure that you help with cleanup. We're just going to throw some stuff away, put some stuff away, and we're finished. Have fun making this. Feel free to send us some pictures or bring it in and show us. Um, and just have fun making Mr. Rainbow Fish. I love it. And don't forget to read the book if you want to read the book. Bye, everybody.